Well, this time it is going to be all the more special. The Prime Minister had said that for two reasons this year's Republic Day is special. The first one, that the 75 years of uh, India's Republic Day is being celebrated. And of course, the Nari Shakti, the women that have been playing the roles in various sectors, will be on display this year. Amita, we'll see a lot of news this time. In a lot of firsts, we'll see that uh, this Republic Day will be marking twin themes, the adoption of the Vikasit Bharat and Bharat Lok Tantra Ki Matrika. We'll see how these two themes are translating on the Kartavya Path. And we have uh, a lot of uh, reporters out there on the ground to bring you the essence of the Republic Day, not only from the Kartavya Path, but also from the parts of the country. And we see that how this parade is special. We have uh, very special guests out here. The parade will commence at 10.30 uh, a.m. And before that, 9.50, there will be National War Memorial Ceremony where uh, the Prime Minister will be going. And right. he'll be remembering the national heroes there. Absolutely. So in a short while from now, we're expecting the live pictures to come in from the War Memorial in the National Capital. But let me also introduce Yavar, Jay Lakshmi and Gajraj, all of them joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Uh, Yavar, starting with you first, of course, I believe that uh, the long dry spell has been broken in Kashmir. And today is the day when India is also celebrating the 75 years of Republic. Well, exactly. Fortunately, uh, after the two months, uh, the dry long spell has been finally ended in the parts of the Kashmir, particularly in the Hairis. Talking about the essence of the 75th of the Republic Day function that has been conducted across the Kashmir Valley, particularly in the Srinagar, where the main function will be held. The advisor to the Lieutenant Governor uh, will uh, host the tricolor at the Bastia Stadium, Srinagar. Adequate security cover have been put in place. Now you can see that uh, the paramilitary uh, JNK police and other security agencies are uh, involved in this particular. Uh, you know, security cover. Remember that yesterday the security forces uh, they averted a major tragedy and in fact foiled a um, you know terror plot by uh, diffusing the IED in the Pulwama. After that, the additional security cover have been put in place. We are just outside that particular main function venue where uh, the function is going to be held. You can see that additional security cover has been put in place to ensure uh, that uh, there will be the smooth conduct of the Republic Day. In fact, there are a lot of the people from across the corner of the Kashmir who are are coming here who are taking part since this is an open invitation for across the Kashmir Valley uh, that uh, the people they can come here they don't need any passes they just have to get the entry on their identity card so a lot of the people are coming here to take part in the special function that's being conducted here now the parade will formally start at the 10 30 in the Bakshi Stadium Street Naga back to you thank you so much Yava, for getting the, that report from uh... Uh, Jammu Kashmir, we see that uh, it's a different picture out there. Every day we see more celebration, more colors out there. And we also have Jaya Lakshmi from, uh, from Thiruvananthapuram because India is celebrating from north to south, east to west. Jaya Lakshmi, what's going on around you? How are the celebrations there? 2047. The Vixit oh, Bharat Sankalp Yatra, uh, in fact, uh, which reached uh, in fact, in even the, the remotest the corners of the nation, exactly created uh, awareness about the government's welfare schemes and ensured access to clean cooking schemes. audio connection. Apologies for that. Akshay bhi hamare saath live jud rahe hai patna se. Akshay, tasveere aari thi thodi der pehle. Nitish Kumar jhanda phelate hoi toh nazar aai. Lekin Bihar mein bhi jo aspanjan की स्थिति जो बनी हुई है काफी अटके ले लगाई जा रही है लेकिन नीतीश कुमार एस चीफ मिनिस्टर बताया जा रहा है कि वहां पे भी गणतंत्र दिवस की जो सेलिब्रेशन है वो रखी गई हैं अक्षय क्या आप मुझे सुन पा रहे हैं so we are at Chirag Paswan's residence where he is also hosting the flag and we will be leaving for Delhi by to, today evening. On the other hand, a political rasak is going on in Bihar still. No leader have a confirmation about what is going to happen. Nobody is ready to spoke about what is going in the politics of Bihar. Yesterday when Samrat Chaudhary came out of the meeting, he said that Amit Shah was discussing on Lok Sabha elections planning. But why in a so hurry and why at... Uh, so late in the night. So there is something going on and talks are going on, bargaining is going on between the JDU and the BJP on who will be the CM on what conditions would be discussed for the further continuation of the alliance. So 
within three to four days, scenario of the Bihar government is expected to change. Thank you, Akshay. Now let's go to Gajraj. Gajraj, special uh, road show we saw there in Jaipur yesterday with the guest with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Let's uh, also give a sense of what's happening out there to our viewers. What's happening around you, Gajraj? <coughs> See, visit of uh, you know French President Emmanuel Macron and the road show along with Prime Minister Narendra Modi just concluded yesterday, and Jaipur is beautifully decorated after uh, that. Uh, uh, you know, after yesterday, and I'll show you on my right uh, is the Amar Jawan Jyoti, uh, where Chief Minister Bajanal Sharma, Assembly Speaker Vasudev Devnani. And Governor Kalal Mishra offered a uh, wreath here right now, uh, just uh, five to ten minutes back. And you can also see the personnel of police and the Indian Army band right now, still at the spot, the personnel of Indian Army. And right now, uh, the, uh, this particular uh, place, you know, is now uh, slowly getting flooded by uh, the locals here to have a picture of this beautifully decorated Amar Jawan Jyoti on my right here. And right now, uh, CM Majanlal Sharma has entered the SMS Stadium here for the state level program to hoist the flag studio all right Gajras, thanks very much for that update jay lakshmi if you can hear us now with a better audio connection of course nari shakti is something that this year's theme has been celebrating women power if you can tell us the updates and give us the updates uh, coming in from thiruvananthapuram that encourages constructive public discourse in a yes, spirit uh, of certainly, mutual uh, respect at exactly and deeper at 57, understanding. CM uh, Pinarayi Vijayan had come in the essential, central stadium and followed by which governor uh, came in the most received by the chief secretary of uh, in fact air force and uh, southern air command be it physical or verbal which exactly is a betrayal of democracy the flag was hoisted here followed by the parade march as a society we should not allow group rivalry or internal Let's me, we'll try and come uh, back to you again. There's a lot of uh, celebration sound, I think, around you. And uh, thanks to all our reporters who are joining us from the field. There is uh, sunny, bright in Jaipur. But uh, yes, uh, certainly in Delhi, it's quite foggy. And uh, Amita, we'll keep showing what's happening on Kartavya Path. But we also have our guests with us, Colonel Lalit Rai. I would like to come to you. We see... Uh, a lot of enthusiasm that is coming in now, especially when we talk about uh, last four to five years and the focus being Atma Nirbharta. So the use of indigenous weapon systems, has it also brought a sense of confidence not only in the armed forces but also the people of the country? Definitely and of course. You see, uh, first of all, you must understand when there is actual war, we as a big nation, as a nation with a big potential and a powerful nation, cannot depend on others for armament, ammunition at the times of need. And we felt this during the Kargil War because we had to bring in a lot of ammunition from all over the world, you know. So I think this Atmanir Bharta and Make in India is a big hit. Because it not only makes us self-sufficient as far as these things are concerned, and we have to go towards that. Of course, there's a long way to go, but there is a step forward. And there is a lot of strides that we have made. Secondly, it also gives a sense of participation to the general public. Because wherever I go, people generally ask me, what can we do? What can we do? And now with Atmani Bharta, I have seen a lot of small industries, people with a lot of you know, uh, technologically advanced uh, systems with them, they are actually participating now. And we are now in the path of making this thing. And if I'm not wrong, I think the defense uh, exports in the last year itself was around 16,000 crores when we were actually always importing and not exporting anything. Hmm. Whereas we have the technological prowess, we have the people, and we have the spirit to produce whatever we have to produce. I think we are going on the right path. We have made your LCA, the, uh, the Tejas, that is the Tejas, then the Dhruv helicopter, then we have made the artillery guns, we have made our own submarines, the ships are being made, we have made our uh, aircraft carrier over here. I think we are on a fantastic path and we should carry on on that and more encouragement should be given to our own people to produce for ourselves. And then when it comes to, uh, when push comes to shove, we don't have to depend on anyone. 
we should be the ones exporting these things rather than trying to look from where we can get these things. So a path for any nation to become great and absolutely self-dependent is to have this Atmanirbharata aspect and to grow technologically. And I think we are on the right path as far as that is concerned. And the second aspect is as far as the logistics, the infrastructure, the equipment that the army is being given, of course, the freedom of uh, operations, bringing down to the lower levels, that has taken tremendous you know, uh, progress in leaps and bounds. And today I can, I dare say, I interact with my, uh, the, the, my colleagues and other people over there. They are justifiably proud and they have that sense of pride and elan and you know, they are, they are there in control of things. Right. And we are more confident, we are better equipped. So even if you have to face two and a half front, as they say, it, you know, one there, there in internet, we are still capable of thinking, yes, we can do all those things simultaneously. And that's what I think that's, that's the direction that we should be heading towards. Absolutely, sir. I couldn't agree more with you. But Maruf also continues to be with us. Maruf, you've been talking about because in the last year, there has been a lot of developments and achievements for India. Of course, at a global war front as well, India has been made itself proud, and especially when it comes to our Javans. And of course, when it comes to inclusion, very interesting uh, uh, fact that I'm going to talk about as well. We know that the French contingent will also be participating in the parade today. But there are also six Indians who will be a part of the French military team that will be marching down the Kartavya path. You see, if you look at it objectively, India is almost everywhere in terms of the messaging that is coming from India's presence and the role that India is playing and wants to play. Now, let me give you a few examples. Colonel Rai has rightly brought out the sense of pride amongst the armed forces and the countrymen about what all India is achieving in the indigenous scale. But we must also remember that this process started long ago. Unfortunately, it didn't get the kind of push it deserved. And it only got the push most recently, the last five to 10 years. Uh, that came as a wake up call to the Indian industry and the military industrial complex. Now look at France. One of the reasons why France is such an important strategic partner for India is because the French have gone out of their way to give us the kind of technological know-how with no holes barred. For example, the French have offered to allow India to make and manufacture top-of-the-line fighter jets with no reservations, with no clearances required from Paris, but we can just go ahead with the technology that they're willing to part. That's a very big shot in the arm for HEL and other organizations which need at this stage a little bit of hand-holding. But it's not that we are completely lost without foreign intervention in the knowledge space. Then space. The French are working very closely with India in Maruf, terms apologies, of Apologies, sir, because we are just getting the live pictures from uh, the Rashtrapati Bhavan and we're going to also talk about that as far as uh, the president's Angrakshak and uh, the president will soon be out there as we're looking at a lot of crowd that is also gathered at Kartavya Path. We also talk about Maruf in the meantime before we go across to the live commentary. Of course, we cannot uh, forget uh, the prime minister's pictures of the sortie that had came in and had gone viral if you want to speak on that as well. Maruf? Yeah. So the yes. thing is that, you know, you talked of Rashtrapati Ke Angrakshak. The president's bodyguard, which you'll see on parade, which will bring the president and her entourage onto the parade center place, taking the salute. They are the world's now only mounted cavalry unit. And they have a long history of gallantry and success. Some time ago, Mr. Modi had gone to Egypt and he went and paid respect to the last Haifa charge that the 61st Cavalry, which is the regiment, which is primarily the provisional provider for PBG soldiers. Uh, that's the battle honor they have and they take a lot of pride in. 
Some of you are maybe familiar with the Teen Murti statue uh, at the end of South Avenue. Right. That marks really the inter-services role in the Battle of Haifa. But equally important is what French are helping us do in terms of space, nuclear reactors, building of submarines, building of fighter aircrafts, is the cutting edge technology that France has. And France listens to nobody, including its European partners, when it decides on how much to give India and no restrictions are enough for the French, because unlike the Americans, the industry controls the White House's response on what is to be given, what not, because the industry stands to make a tidy profit out of how much they give to countries like India. Maruf, I would like to interrupt you here because you are talking about uh, these countries. So do you think that the Atman Nirbharta, the essence of getting more confident, is this also changing the perception of the world towards India? Of course, because the world is now looking at India with more respect. Let me give you two examples. When Mr. Modi was there for the first time as Prime Minister in the US and India landed its spacecraft on Mars, the basic uh, messaging was we produce spacecrafts that go to Mars at less than a cost of a Bollywood, Hollywood film. The second thing is about India's ability to come up with space programs which are related with energy, space, research, solar use of capabilities. All that is the kind of message that India is giving, which few other countries are able to match. So there is a lot of respect. There's no reason why Mr. Biden, though there was disappointment that he didn't take up the invitation to come to Delhi, or whether he was invited or not, there was a lot of speculation he'd be coming. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason why Mr. Biden and his team would not go out of their way to engage with India because of India's proven uh, prowess in indigenization. So we are now producing things which even the West can't. For example, let me give you an example. You know, artillery systems, which is the mainstay of fighting on the ground, normally had field guns and also had medium guns, which are targeting enemy at 35 kilometers or more. And now you have India boasting that will soon produce artillery systems that will hit target at 100 kilometers. Now, that's unbelievable. And Colonel Rai would agree with me, being a military man. And that's the kind of planning figures that were mind-boggling to your adversary. If you can get us 100 kilometers away, what's left of us to defend? So there are things that we are doing. We've produced, you know, fighter aircrafts. We're only the fifth or sixth nation to produce fighter aircrafts. And it's not an easy job to produce. We're sending people to space. We're sending, uh, we're creating aircraft carriers. We're sending submarines into the deep sea. Certainly, Maruf, you know, India everything. is actually now breaking barriers and setting new standards. And we see that uh, as the Kartavya path is all set, there is excitement in the air. 